welcome to the program, Nesma. Uh, I want to start by asking you, this campaign that you founded um, is very personal to you. Can you share some of that experience with our viewers? First of all, thank you so much for having me. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I came from Bangladesh when I was 11 years old to New York City, and uh, I grew up in the Bronx, and uh, I went to a lot of discrimination starting from junior high school to high school to university. And then when I reached to university, 9-11 took place, and uh, you know, now I was being um, chased on the street, uh, pushed you know, and the subways and, you know, I couldn't even go to do, you know, couldn't do simple grocery store without being called a terrorist or Osama bin Laden. So there are, you know, a lot of discrimination I would face on a daily basis for years, actually. I'm sorry. So, uh, you know, I'll, you couldn't hear me? Yeah, no, I'm just saying I'm sorry to hear about this discrimination <laughs> oh. that you oh, faced. You. It's, uh, it's not great. It's being chased, being pushed and... And as you said, being called a terrorist. But uh, congratulations yeah. on, on founding this day. Thank it's you. the uh, eighth World Hijab Day. It's been running, I believe, Thank since you. 2013. How effective yes. has it been? Uh, it has been, uh, I mean, you know, it has been very effective. I mean, I just like to point on two things. Let's look at the point of laws that has been recognizing World Hijab Day. They're actually passing February 1st as in recognition of World Hijab Day. My hometown, New York State, passed a law in 2017 recognizing what hijab day. Recently, last week, actually, Philippines, uh, the House actually passed a bill uh, announcing it as a national hijab day on February 1st. So it has been very effective. But on a personal level, uh, the many lives that has been changed, you know, for instance, the school that I was bullied in, uh, you know, I was the only hijabi going to the school. Now the same school actually take, you know, work, uh, work hijab they're very seriously in order to educate the students about the hijab. So no one uh, will get, you know, discriminated like I have in the past. So it has been very, you know, there are, there, you know, thousands of stories of, uh, you know, success stories out there. That's remarkable yeah. what uh, you've achieved, <laughs> yeah. uh, especially at uh, your Thank former you. school. But uh, tell us, uh, Nazma, are there still challenges that remain and what are they very briefly? Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. You know, the same thing, you know, most uh, one of the challenges like, you know, we are always called oppressed. It's not our choice. We are brainwashed, you know, whatnot. You know, this, this, uh, this narrative, you know, that needs to be changed and then um, you know, uh, it, you know, still, you know, uh, as we're speaking, sisters all over the world, uh, you know, they're facing some sort of discrimination, you know. So there are a lot of challenges ahead of us, but you know, we are positive. We've been positive. You know, it will change. You know, inshallah. So, yeah. And I just want to ask you about. Um, actually, we have run out of time. Uh, Nazma Khan, <laughs> thank you so much for speaking no to problem. us. I had, so hopefully we'll speak me. to you again and, and ask you some more <laughs> questions next year. No thank problem. you so thank much you. for coming on the news hour. No thank you.